Words have a powerful impact on both mental and physical health, and leaders bear a significant responsibility in choosing their words wisely, words that resonate within a nation's collective consciousness, either undermining or strengthening social cohesion. When political or thought leaders normalize belittling, insulting, or threatening language, it sets a precedent for their followers to do the same. It has now become almost impossible to discuss an emotional or controversial topic on social media without it devolving into a personal attack. Positive words can uplift mood, foster a sense of connection, and enhance self-esteem, while negative words can lead to feelings of anxiety, depression, and stress. Repeated repetition of certain words can trigger anger and fear, reinforcing harmful beliefs and thought patterns, cementing a pessimistic or fearful world view. They turn on the body's fight-or-flight response, leading to increased heart rate, elevated cortisol levels, and muscle tension. A well-known study published in 2015 in the journal Psychological Science analyzed Twitter language from different counties in the United States. The researchers found that the frequency of negative words related to anger, stress, and fatigue was a strong predictor of heart disease mortality in those areas. This predictive power was even stronger than traditional factors like smoking and obesity. Negative social media interactions can turn on stress pathways in the body, leading to chronic inflammation, higher blood pressure, and other risk factors. In contrast, repeated positive affirmation or mindfulness practices involving positive language can lead to lasting changes in brain pathways, promoting greater mental well-being. Kind, supportive, and empathetic language strengthens relationships and builds social bonds, which are key to mental health. Positive words turn on reward centers in the brain, while negative words trigger fear and pain. Words release even feel-good hormones like dopamine and oxytocin reducing stress levels and promoting relaxation. And here are just a few examples of many words such as love, peace, stillness, breathe, kind, smile, cheer, kind, value, and gratitude. Various studies have also revealed that recitation of certain prayers and mantras has a particularly positive effect on heart rate variability and cardiovascular health. The song Ave Maria, especially in its classical renditions, is known to have a profound calming and soothing effect on body and mind. The spiritual connection can evoke feelings of comfort, protection, quietening the mind and reducing mental chatter. One of the most widely used and revered mantras in Tibetan Buddhism is Om Mani Padme Hum. The mantra is particularly helpful in purifying negative emotions such as anger, jealousy, and attachment. And the Om has a particular power in transmuting generational trauma especially when humming the M at the end of the OM. Practitioners can cultivate a more compassionate and loving mindset, leading to greater emotional balance and resilience. Chanting the mantra typically involves deep rhythmic breathing, which can improve oxygenation of the body, enhancing lung capacity, and promoting a sense of physical calm. In summary, 
the words we hear and use in our vocabulary shape who we are, impacting our relationships and our physiological and mental health. In moments when the external world pulses with negativity, it's crucial to establish healthy boundaries and to elevate your own vibrational energy, cultivating a space of stillness, positivity, joy, and self-care becomes essential.